I'm b b b b black in my talk. Hope you the b b b b black in my talk. B b b b black in my talk. Biggity 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 black in my talk. B b b b black in my talk. Biggity 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 black in my talk. B b b b black in my talk. Biggity 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 black in my talk. B b b b black in my talk. Cakes is hot. My joints is moist. So, anyways, um, so I just went to the laundromat in Montauk, and it's called Laundromat. I'm gonna have to put the address here. Um, yeah. So the lady was rude. She, I come up here because I already kind of heard about the rules and stuff that. Here you have to use their dish detergent because you can't use your own detergent, but you can use like bleach and stuff like that. And I already knew that when I came, so I didn't bring my detergent. And one lady explained, the first lady I talked to, she was nice. Then the second lady, I don't know what was up her butt. I don't know, she might've accidentally like set on a stake or something, or maybe like set on a thorn or something large and pointy, not in a good way. Um, I don't know what happened. She might have said on like a um, on a beer bottle, and it might have broke or something in her rear end. Maybe she might have said on like a poison ivy bush or something. Something was going on up her behind, and it was stuck. Whatever it was, it was stuck up there. So I don't know. She might need to see a doctor or something. I don't know if she has health insurance, but she should probably go get that checked out. So whatever was stuck up her behind, she was taking it out on me. I don't know what was going on. The first lady, really nice. The second lady sat on something that she didn't want to sit on and it got stuck up in her rear. Anywho. Sorry, I had a dream about a crow and then a crow fly over here. But he was flying up, so that's a good thing. Anywho. So anyways, yeah, like I said, the lady who sat on something and it got stuck up there, she came over to talk to me because I, I left my money in the car. So I went to the car to go get my quarters because, you know, I'm coming to a laundromat. And most laundromats, most laundromats, they're coin operated. So when you go to a laundromat, usually, typically, I expect to pay in quarters. You know what I'm saying? I expect to pay in quarters. So what they said was you have to go over to the front desk, you pay there, then they start the machine for you because you can't put your own laundry detergent in it. So since you can't put your own laundry detergent in it, they start the laundry for you. 
and then you dry your own clothes and have to pay in quarters. So, the lady I didn't got it. Now I'm chilly. I just cannot believe I'm sitting here looking like this. Oh my goodness, maybe I take these off. Anywho, ex just ignore this situation I got going on because I'm gonna be cute later, okay? Anywho, so the lady, I come up to the desk with my bag of quarters, okay? It had more quarters in here, right? And I tell her, I say, um, so I only have quarters. I didn't bring any cash. She like, well, you know you have to pay for the dryer in quarters, right? Okay. And I have quarters to pay for the washing machine. She like, well, you know it costs $8 to wash clothes. You got enough quarters. I said, there's more than eight quarter, $8 worth of quarters in this bag. Well, you know you got to have enough quarters to dry. There's more than enough quarters in this bag. So I had to sit there and she was testing my patience. So I had to slow down. You don't even know me. Darling, I don't care. I don't care for you. You said on something. And you trying. You trying me. And I'm trying to be patient. So I had to sit there and slowly count my quarters because sheesh. So I'm sitting there like a one, a two, a three. Oh, what, what number am I? One, two, three. Oh yeah, a four, a five, a six. Wait, how many is that? A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. Okay. A seven, a eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. And so I handed it. I'm handing it to her again. She's in there. So I hand it to her. A one, a two, a three, <laughs> a four. A five, a six, a seven. Wait, how many is that? Is that, how many dollars is that? Is that a one, a two, a three, a four? It's seven dollars. Oh, a five, a six, oh, seven dollars. Oh, a eight. <laughs> and I walked away. I'm like, how much is it? How much does it cost to dry? Two dollars. What are you, the quarter patrol? Doesn't this look like more than eight quarters? More than eight quarters. I had to take a stroll. That's why I had to go and get this espresso. And I never really had an iced espresso, but I won't be ordering it again. It's cute. The idea is cute. The cup is cute. The store is cute. Espresso Fredo, Frito, not good. Not good. Maybe, and I even, I even added vanilla and caramel in it. Maybe I should have asked them to add my sugar in it before they had it cold. That's probably why they asked me, like, you sure you want it cold? Yeah, I guess if that's what the espresso Frito is, but I should have got it hot. I should have just took a shot of espresso. It would have been better. Yeah, but i rather drive. This place is five minutes away from the hotel. But personally, I'd rather drive 30 minutes to East Hampton to wash my clothes for $10 per wash and $2 to dry, $2.25 to dry, than to spend $2 less to come five minutes. And yes, gas is $5.79, but I will pay $5.79 per gallon, two more dollars per wash to never see that lady's face again. And I wouldn't even give her the luxury of kissing my ass. She can never look at me again after I get my clothes out of the dryer because they're drying right now. But that lady is not allowed to kiss my behind and she cannot talk to me. So I'm glad I don't have to deal with her no more. But yeah, I'd rather spend $2 more 
than to see this lady's face ever again. And I didn't want to say this, but it looked like she got hit in the face with a bag of quarters. And I think that's why she has a phobia against quarters, because somebody hit her with it. And you know what? That could have been the thing that she sat on. She might have sat on a bag of quarters and they all got stuck. And maybe like some of the lead or like coin juices might have got into her bloodstream and it's messing with her personality. Crack the code. We figured it out. That was my laundry experience. So, yeah. Got this espresso from left hand. Ooh, I know I look a little crazy. It's wash day. Is that my sugar at the bottom? I tried to put sugar in it. It's nasty. I don't like it. I should have just got a shot of espresso. I don't know what I was thinking. I even added. I even added flavoring to it. It did not do me justice. So it tastes way better after the ice melted and it watered down. It's actually pretty good now. Oh. 